Back in January, we went through the bikes we're most looking forward to seeing in 2023. So we're back for part two, and we've got bikes from Focus, Merida, Trek, Specialized, Giant, and Kalkoff. And we've got that final reveal on that mystery bike from Giant. Hi folks, I'm Jason and welcome to eBike Center. Following on from the video we did earlier in the year, which you can watch later up here, we're taking you through part two of the bikes we're most looking forward to in 2023. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell. Kicking off today, we've got the Focus Sam 6.9. Now this was an extremely popular enduro bike from Focus. It was long travel, it was burly, it was powerful, it was everything you really needed. So what have Focus done? Well, they've increased the battery size, they've increased the travel, and it's got the new Bosch Smart system, so what's not to love? So now we've got 180 mil of travel on the front and 170 mil of travel on the back. So they've stuck with the uh, Fox factory float. <laughs> <laughs> They've stuck with the Fox factory float up front, the great bright orange Kashima coat, lovely, beautiful forks that they are, but they're 180 mil now, and they've got a coil sprung shock on the back. The frame has been completely redesigned to house a 750 watt hour battery, so up from the previous 625. There is a 625 option available on the lower models, but we're gonna focus on the, on the Focus Sam 6.9 with this bigger battery. They've gone with the bright orange color again in the Kashima coat, and frankly, it really sets off the two-tone paint job of the new Sam. They've also done away with pretty much any of the decals. So there's only a, a slight marking of a focus on the front and the rear, which seems to be the trend at the moment. A lot of uh, the bike markings on bikes are disappearing. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but it does make for a really subtle looking bike. So why are we excited about this bike? Well, it's because they've taken what was a great bike and they looks like they've made it better. They've given you more range. They've given you more travel. This really is an absolute rocket. You just point this and shoot. It will take you through anything. It's burly, it's rowdy. It is a party bike. It is just, angry it will throw well you can throw it at anything and quite frankly it will suck it up and ask for more also a quick mention to the focus jam as well that's a totally redesigned bike for this year as well running the bosch motor system multiple bikes in the range but it's more of an all-mountain rather than an enduro bike so again it's really worth a look it's a lovely looking bike and we look forward to getting our hands on one of those later this year as well let let well <laughs> please let us know your thoughts on the new sam 6.9 below Next up, we've got the Merida E160. Now this is a bike that's been extremely well reviewed in the past and they brought it forward with just a few, few tweaks, but ultimately it's a bike that didn't need a great deal of tweaking. It's a aggressive enduro bike, but it's a mullet setup. It's very playful, it's very planted. It's got a, a Shimano EP8 motor, which is 85 Newton meters of torque, 630 watt hour battery. And it's a very short bike in the sense of the chainstay, so it makes it very playful and very agile. We've managed to get hold of one, and my colleague Steve has been playing around with that a lot recently, and he absolutely loves it. Sadly, for Toby and I, we haven't had a chance to use it yet, but we will do, and when we do, we'll certainly bring you a video. It's a cracking looking bike. The paint jobs are fantastic. And for, for those and many other reasons, it's a bike that makes our list. Next up, we've got the Specialized Turbo Terro X. This is a sports utility full suspension bike from Specialized. So Specialized aren't the first people to dabble in the full suspension, fully equipped mountain bike. You've already got the Focus Thron Square that's been around for a few years, and you've also got the Trek Fuel Powerfly, no, the Trek Fuel Powerfly. The Trek Powerfly FS equipped. So the beauty of this SUV or fully equipped bike, however you want to describe it, is it's a bike that can take you pretty much everywhere. It's a bike that you can use for commuting, it's a bike that you can use on the weekend for lots of fun as well, and it's a bike that can cover lots and lots of miles. You've got, you've got your lights, you've got your mud guards, you've got your pannier racks, kickstands. It's a bike that, is, as like the name says, it's fully equipped, so it's got everything that you need for whatever occasion it might be. This particular bike has got 130 mil of travel. The Turbo Terro X, uh, X5 sorry, has got uh, a 710 watt hour battery and a 90 newton meter motor. So it's got all the power that you could ever need, plus a huge amount of range to cover those distances that you're gonna need for your fun adventures or your commutes to work, whatever they might be. It's a go anywhere, do anything bike, and that's why it's made the list. It's a bike from Specialized too, so who doesn't like Specialized? Leave your comments below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Next up, we've got the Giant Stance E Plus One. So the previous generation had been around for a little while and thankfully, Giant have come back with a new update. So it's got a more powerful motor and a smaller motor. So the sync drive motor now produces 75 newton meters, comes with a 625 watt hour battery 
and there's an optional 250 watt hour range extender, which means you can have 875, unless my maths is completely wrong, watt hours of battery power on one bike, so that's gonna take you a long, long way. Up front, you've got RockShock 35s, 140 mil traveler RockShock 35s. Let me just do a little bit of research and I'll come back to you. <laughs> So we've got 140 mil of travel up front, 125 at the rear, running 29 inch wheels front and back. It's running 10 speed Shimano link like gearing, so it's great to see a bike with purpose built e-bike gearing. And it comes in the color cold iron, which sounds fantastic. It sounds very much like a baddie from Rocky and it should be cold iron is how it's pronounced. Cold iron. I... <laughs> My name is cold iron. My name is Cold Iron and I will defeat you. <laughs> Please don't forget to like and subscribe, otherwise Cold Iron will get you. You got a big mouth. Crazy. Next up, we've got the Trek Fetch. This is Trek's first foray into the e-cargo bike range. They've got two bikes. They've got a, what? Well, it's very much like a turn style of bike, uh, which is a two-wheel bike with a big cargo rack on the back. And then they've also got a two-wheeled cargo box bike, which is going to be more in sort of the mold of, the, of a Babo, something like that. And they are very well spec. They've both got the Bosch Performance Line CX motor, the smart system. The Fetch Plus 4 has got a 750 watt hour battery. So as far as I'm aware at the moment, that's the biggest battery fitted to uh, an e-cargo bike, certainly that I'm aware of. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's also really well spec. It's got the Gates uh, carbon belt drive along with the CVT hub. So overall, it's, yeah, it's a bike that's gonna, it's not gonna be cheap like sit down when you want to look at the price, um, but it's really, really high spec. It's going to be, as far as cargo bikes go, it's pretty much the creme de la creme. Uh, and the Plus 2, which is the sort of smaller wheelbase, normal style of bike, it's got loads of different options out the back. Lo loads of cargo options on there too, and it's nice to see another option, another alternative to the Turn. Don't get me wrong, the Turn is a fantastic bike, but it is nice to see someone else coming out there with a different version. So we haven't seen one yet, they should be here very soon, but we are looking forward very much to seeing those. And that's why both of those are in our bikes that we're most looking forward to in 2023. Lastly, this one's a bit of a mouthful. We've got the Kalkoff. Entice 7B Advance Plus ABS, or ABS. We refer to this sort of bike as a rugged hybrid. So it's, it's not a mountain bike, but it's not a standard hybrid. It sits somewhere in between. It's got rugged tires, it's got decent suspension, it's got powerful 85 newton meter Bosch motor. This one's fitted with a 750 watt hour battery as well. So it's, it's a long range bike. It's gonna take you a long, long way. If you're commuting or if you're trekking, which is probably what the bike's mainly designed for, you're gonna be able to get there. Uh, and back, and back again, because there's so much range. So who are Kalkoff, you may ask? Well, they're a very long established German bike brand. They're typically Germanic, they are angular in their design, they're really, really well built, and they all last for a long time. And they're extremely popular in the trekking world of bikes. And that is why they've made it on the list. Plus, they've got abs. So what are abs? Well, it's ABS, it's anti-lock braking system. These bikes are fitted with the Magura MTC ABS braking system. Bosch state that 29% of all accidents could be prevented if you had abs or ABS. I'm not sure where they got that stat from, but everyone loves a stat, so I'm gonna believe that and say, you need abs. And that is why it's on the list. Do you have abs? Let us know below. So Giant have finally revealed that bike that we were looking forward to. So yes, it is a lightweight bike. It's called the Giant Trance X Advanced E Plus Elite. So, a big name for a light bike. Let's find out about the specs. So, what Giant have produced is a full power lightweight e-bike. They claim that it's the lightest full power e-bike in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so Giant have designed this bike to fill that gap between the lightweight bikes, the full fat bikes, but those people that don't want all the extra weight that goes with that full fat bike. So they fitted their giant Sync Drive Pro motor, which is 85 newton meters of torque, with a 400 watt hour battery that's permanently in frame to produce a bike that weighs less than 19 kilos. So that is very impressive indeed. That's actually lighter than the Wild FS. However, it isn't as big a, ba a battery power as that Wild FS. It's only 400 watt hours as opposed to 625. So it's a full carbon frame. There are four bikes in the range, ranging from 5,499 all the way up to 12,000 and, no, 12,999. So what's this bike all about? Well, the best way I can describe this is as a natural evolution from the Orbea Rise. 
So it weighs about the same amount of, mo of money, weighs about the same amount. <laughs> And it's got a similar sort of setup where it's got a full power motor in there, but unlike the, the RS tuned or Bayer Rise motor, what Giant have done is they've enabled you to have the full 85 Newton meters of the Sync Drive Pro motor, but they've made it fully customizable. So you can go from 20 Newton meters of torque all the way up to 85 Newton meters of torque. So you can go low power, long range, or you can go full power, short range, but have a massive blast at the same time. So the bike has just been launched, so we'd expect to see it spring, early summer. Um, for a full review of that bike, please stay tuned. We're gonna release that very soon, as soon as we've got some more info. So that concludes part two of our bikes that we're most looking forward to in 2023. There could well be a part three, we just don't know yet because more bikes are being released all the time. We'd be really grateful if you could like and subscribe and hit that notification button. And if we don't see you in store, we will see you in the next video. Cheers. Right, but birds back. <laughs> when you ready, bird? It's like a machine gun. It's, like a, it's a bird with a machine gun. <laughs> Throw that bullet. There we go. Right. Next up, we've got the Trek Fetch.